Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we're back to Fallout 3. We ended last episode a little early. My, the crick in my neck that just keeps coming back, um, was getting particularly bad. And so I'm just gonna hopefully not run into that same problem. Uh, there's only so much time before I'm just straight bored out of my mind, in which I can't can can take a break. Interesting. This says keep out, not part of the tour. And there's just like a super mutant brute over there. He's just like standing like a statue. So we're in Murder Pass. And I imagine what we're going to find is that this is some kind of weird curved pathway. And I don't know if this means that every spot is like split and then merge back together or if there's kind of something more to this that see that just kind of kind of feels like a weird dead end with a booby trap on it and in this whole murder pass I just don't know who built this whole facility it kind of feels like these would have been this would have been a location where more little lamplighter kids lived at some point and then it got taken over by super mutants. Your father would be proud of you. Hmm. I have no idea what I just triggered to, to make an explosion happen. Well, we can see how the Overlord is a big enough bullet sponge that that he takes a lot of hits and he's moving pretty fast and our character our companion character here is just taking them hit for hit yeah I don't know if I triggered some kind of tripwire or if he threw a grenade even he may have just thrown a grenade. And see, somehow we missed this little corner. We're desperately looking for for things. So this is a door that obviously leads us into Vault 83. Vault, the surface of Vault 83 is super irradiated. One question certainly to ask is how are they going to stop me from coming back to this area? Is it... can I come back to this area? Or not? We have to be particularly thorough when we do investigate the, the area. Because there probably is a bobblehead. I would almost assume a 100% certainty that there's one of the three or four remaining bobbleheads. It's strange that that guy's dead. Because I don't think I killed him. But maybe I did. No, it doesn't seem like it. And I don't think my companion just ran off. Either, so. I have said in RPG games, once you're super 
over leveled like I am, it would be nice if there was a way that you just emitted an aura and it stopped it, people from causing random encounters. I guess this was humans of some sort. Um, perhaps a way that could be implemented in a slightly different way is that you could just come up upon more dead bodies. Just random dead bodies. Junk Town Jerky Book. And guy looking like he's vomiting over a toilet. And the scale of these characters, it's hard to tell whether those are supposed to be kid skeletons or adult skeletons. So this is where we started. You, there was a split. We came in here. You, you can go either way. It merges. There's a dead end. You go here. You go there. And at this level, I don't know if you could actually take fall damage at all. And you can certainly see where problems of having a split can arise because it does create a scenario where you would potentially end up going in two different places and I had to just push right against this corner to mark that on the map but there's no experience or anything you get for marking things on the map or making better maps there certainly were many previous generation of RPG games where you had to draw maps phys physically in the real world and some of the assistance assistive Technology such as auto mapping or in game mappings were, would just sim simply did not exist. But I think there is definitely an argument that improvements and new ideas and concepts of RPGs started to become. A little bit fewer and further between after major improvements happened. Um, and Fallout 3 is kind of an example of trying to make adaptions and improvements to get people who are playing Halo to play something a RPG game compared to what like Fallout 2 looks like where that would have been a completely different very niche subset of gamers in a lot of ways that there has always been kind of this class subdivision except for maybe in the past 10 years where where people really do um think of themselves as general gamers who play all kinds of different games. Whereas before then, there was PC gamers that played RPGs and PC gamers that played other things. Finding the Garden of Eden. Hmm. This is funny. We already found Oasis, so if that's supposed to be the Garden of Eden, then that quest seems like um, seems like that would be the name of that quest, but I bet it has nothing to do with, with the Oasis. The Gek itself, I think the G-E in Gek stands for Garden of Eden. I wouldn't be surprised one bit if it turns out that the, it is the Gek, the first 
caused the super mutants to be created. And it's with the Gek that the super mutants are making more super mutants. And we have no need for for much of anything, but but particularly scrap metal is the one thing we can turn in for experience. It's, it's really insane that that's the only quest. It, it it really is rather insane that that <laughs> you wouldn't have multiple quests that would give you XP. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> that is like the most pathetic place where you would want where you would actually want a. A stranger visit. I'm only getting like 5 XP. The good news is um, that we are close to a level up. So there's a whole bunch of bodies. Hmm. A bloody teddy bear. And several super mutants. Did we actually look in this metal box? Might as well just go this way, I guess. It is a little questionable to see so many dead bodies. Um, but not really that questionable. Great chamber. Is there really a door to the great chamber or do I have to go some other way to reach that? Living quarters is this way. So before we pick one direction, let's go look in the other direction. It is very believable if you had something that was some kind of magical technology to bring life to the lifeless that it would malfunction in some way and not bring life back in the same form factor or try to make it stronger and more resilient to radiation and the environmentals outside that would certainly make a lot of sense all right Interesting, she says she's been here before? That can be true. Hmm. So we got some journal entries. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see. Tin like we're reading. Things. Some of this seems to be doing us a favor um, as far as um, like they're doing us a favor by having some data corrupt. Here we have somebody 
who was hearing the kids that were trapped in the cave, little lamplight caves when that first happened. And they're saying, he's crazy. Hmm. It feels like some of these journal entries are the exact same. Like this person lost his kid and then he heard the other kids and they said he was crazy. Okay. What's funny there though is that there's not like a quest around that but there were some notes around that narrative and that story storyline when we first visited little lamplight as we got the back story of what happened again it would be very nice if these stories were told to us instead of us having to read them um And certainly would have been nice if. Are we in Little Lamplight? Yep, we're just back to Little Lamp Lamplight. So we could have avoided all of Murder Pass if we wanted to. And it would have stopped most of the fighting, but not all of the fighting. And got some creepy cave-in point here, which I have wonder if this may have been what the main entrance would have been for Vault 87. And, and so we're just not going to see that part. Hmm. We can hear somebody making noise so where is that super mutant and how did we miss him like super mutants are pretty big it's kind of difficult that you would possibly have one wandering around not be able to shoot at him or him shoot at you but it seems like that's exactly the case Maybe through the living quarters, we will get to another part of the map. Hmm. It's like we can hear their noise, they can hear our noise, where our companion is being... Yep. And see, having your action points refill in no way helps you when you have a gun that's doing too little damage and let's see what her health is. I was afraid she may have been killed that another um, super mutant had snuck up behind her. But yeah, if I can get two headshots on the master, I can kill it, and then that refills our action points, but this gun is just not working. It's too low for its own good. So, we need to switch to a Chinese assault rifle. And we're leveled up.
five points in just dump all of that into barter and yeah and the remaining three levels I don't see there really being a way that we wouldn't get everything to 100 even if we don't find the remaining bobbleheads and I almost wonder if there is now something that I could unlock that I wouldn't have been able to unlock before just because my barter wasn't high enough. Hmm. 25% extra to any robot is a perk to potentially consider early on instead of taking maybe the extra um, skill point that's going to be redundant. Hmm. Being able to rehack computers you're previously locked out of is not really worth it. Concentrated fire doesn't work unless you're doing specific things. A lot of the paralyzing palm and stuff doesn't really work. Hmm. No weakness is a bad perk to even exist. Let's see. We still don't have a perception high enough for that, or charisma high enough for that. Hmm. Yeah, our charisma is just always too low. Hmm. Or agility high enough for that. <coughs> There's definitely some of these, these perks that I got locked out of because I took too low of a standard skill and you'll just never be able to take them because by the time you do get to the almost perfect at level 30, you won't have this ability to re-roll. So, hmm. of the ones I can't take anymore, Nerves of Steel obviously is something we would have wanted, and you definitely would have wanted to have gotten that at level 26. Um, so... Hmm. Better criticals. Also, we would have liked to get at level 16. So there's almost this argument to take an intensive training, which you probably shouldn't have, shouldn't do, just to raise your stats so you could take something else. But I, I don't think I'm going to do that. Instead, what will... Hmm. Probably want to take is just Paralyzing Palm. Not very good perk either, but yeah. The ones I actually would want are the ones that I'm lacking skills in, and the reason I'm lacking skills in them and would, is the reason I would want them. So, it's a kind of catch-22. We've got some lit areas. Oh. A lot of people barricading, a lot of fighting definitely gives the feeling that there was um, a 
Like, now you gotta be careful not to shoot your own person. Hmm. And it's just so incredibly dark. I feel like the um, companions probably could get hit by friendly fire a little bit more than just a random person that is hanging out with you. And we're going to have to check out these gore bags Got back. Hmm. oh I'm about to die wow and that heartbeat sound effect does not happen fast enough to really warn you Alright, well. We don't have a lot of these bullets, but. Alright. Oh, yeah, and she is about to die, too. Interesting, she almost died, and then her health is just now back to what it was before. Hmm. Now, I don't think we're going to get a quest for all these mutilated body parts. Again, it's just so incredibly dark. Having two overlords next to each other did not give me the opportunity to potentially shoot one overlord, get my action points refilled, and take on the next overlord. Uh, Want to be very careful to check out every place but I heavily suspect that there's not much going on here mm -mm. Come on. Got only 16. Fifteen. Fourteen. Thirteen. It is some incredibly small area. Twelve. I. Right. Let's make safety save. Try this again. I 
got me 60 XP. And all that did was open up a room that literally has nothing in it. I mean, really pathetic. Like, the game has no good reason or justification at all to tease a player like that. That is just rude. Reactor chamber test labs. When we were down this way. We had more places to investigate. Like, I mean, it definitely is a different situation if you open a door and then they give you even a small pathetic reward, but to give no reward, to literally have the other side unlocked, while maybe realistic, is just trolling the player. And yes, I got the experience and that's all I really cared about, but I also wasted a lot of A lot of bobby pins there. Yeah, and this character. Is a... Yeah. And that's not going to fly, so. Hmm. Break it or load again. That's not too bad. Let's go ahead and save. Overwrite that save. This does create an interesting issue of the danger of just having somebody around, like, when you have a companion. When I'm just playing by myself, if, if the super mutant was around and I missed him and just wandered into an area and he started shooting me, I would have no problem killing him before he hurt me, but when I'm effectively having to babysit a companion who is not even a particularly weak companion, this whole projector thing doesn't really mean anything. That's a little annoying. Did we find anything over here of importance? In a lot of ways, this whole game is just teasing the player, isn't it? Like, you go into these rooms, you see these set designs, and maybe there's something that you can search, and in searching it, maybe you get a stem pack. Maybe you get something some item of small value but mostly you're just wasting your time hmm. and i am not 100 percent certain if we've been everywhere or not. I 
it sure, sure doesn't really feel like they're going to tell you much of a story here. But if they were going to try and tell you a story, they would just do it in that awkward way that they did the return to Vault 111. In that they forced me to talk to a lot of people. And forced me to have more of a conversational encounter. The systems are not integrated well. And arguably they're not even particularly integrated well. Interesting. This looks like a camera to me, but it's being labeled as a leaf blower. Um... Yeah, I would say that that is a consistent problem, even with like Skyrim and such, is that there's just not a good integration between the multiple systems that exist. Hmm. Alright, so it looks to me like you have to go up here. Which means you would have had to have gone through that whole area. Either lockpicking to stealth your way through, which is I guess what they were thinking of, is that this would have been the stealth path, or fighting your way through. Go down here and see where this leads. Like the most powerful weapon I have does like 150 damage. This gun does half of that at about 75 damage but your action points compared to the amount of like the amount of damage they can take is completely unbalanced and this is on very easy mode so I have no idea whatsoever how how that system would have worked for any other player that would be playing on a higher difficulty level. Hmm. hmm. While the filtration system was adding a bit too much chemical rebalancing solution. Um, with a foul aftertaste. Hmm. Periodic interruptions in power. Power spikes. Hmm. So something in a testing lab. Radiation is coming out from the Gek Chamber. Hmm. Hmm. Didn't like you reading all this or pause now if you really want to read all of this. Hmm. They're editing out. Hmm. All, all the important verbs there. In the event that anyone reads this, please try and get word back to Vault Tech HQ that something very wrong is going on in the experimenting second, something they keep referring to as the EEP. My wife, Marika, was diagnosed by the medical section as having some sort of disease they wouldn't identify. She's dead now, and those 
SOBs won't tell me why. From talking to people, I've discovered that many are dead and missing. Checking this with the medical records section gets me nowhere. This is getting out of hand. It's time to deal with this in my own way. They took my wife from me. Now I'll take their lives away if they don't, if I don't get some answers. Um, I've hidden some extra help in my safe accessing. This message will unlock it. If I don't come back, grab the stuff and save yourself. Right. So. The safe is now unlocked. Inside of it we have some stim packs and a scoped magnum. <clears throat> and scrap metal, certainly. There certainly is a level of violence that comes about amongst all these survivors. Um, whether they made it inside a vault or had to live in the nuclear fallout. Anybody who had any pacifist tendencies clearly didn't survive very long. But also in this alternate history it just seems like violence or, or turning to violence as, as one of your first resorts seems to be fairly normal. Hmm. Hmm. Hopefully you can't hear my stomach growling, but apologies if you can. Alright. So we checked out that area, which I think means we go this area. If this was Bioshock in a comparison for a much later game, this almost certainly would have been the section where you get irradiated and get turned into a super mutant, at least for a temporary amount of time. Um, and if this was Skyrim, then almost certainly you would have Uh, like if this was Skyrim you almost certainly would have been able to play as a super mutant as your starting species hmm. it clearly feels like there are times when I'm just out of practice with this lock picking also Almost certainly because I am out of practice with lock picking, but you don't get enough bobby pins as somebody who's bad at the lock picking system to ever do it often enough to get really good at it. Soldierism hmm. illustrated. Hmm. Okay, so we checked out that area, that area. <coughs> it says the reactor door should be right where we are. So it's got to be either above us or below us in some way that can't be accessed because and if anything, maybe this is an experiment where we are going to have to go in a circular direction because things are barricaded, or maybe we'll have to enter the living corridors 
Um, like. See, this is ridiculous because, like, all I can do is hit this guy. And then that'll refill my action points. So then we can wait for this guy to decide to walk in such a direction that I might actually be able to hit him. I'm hoping I can actually hit his head from this. There's just a lot of stuff in the way, so I wouldn't... Obviously it's not that difficult of a path to get to them because the companion did it. A little bit of radiation. Ooh, 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 ooh. The radiation was high. So, perhaps that is a reminder to be careful. Hmm. Yeah. And again, you would have totally expected that the radiation would have just been would have been a limiting factor to a lot of locations instead of just this one location. It implies very possibly that the only place where a nuke actually fell in the entire capital district area was on vault 87 or vault 87 is just outputting way more radiation than any of the nuclear bombs that were dropped 200 years later um, we see many nukes but i feel like there definitely should be a fear and a threat of somebody creating one megaton bombs, 10 megaton bombs, instead of mini nukes probably doing less than, uh, a, like maybe one kiloton of explosive force, barely doing nuclear fission, fusion at all. Uh, at this point, I need to just make a safety save. Although, in this case, um, this is kind of a safe that doesn't matter. Because I know I could have just hacked into this. Currently, Let's try virtually. Nope. Available. That didn't work. Seclusion. Lucky. Unlock the safe. Anybody who's died will be labeled as unexplained, undefined. Hmm. Hmm. Deceased listening. Hmm. 93 dead, 4 from natural deaths, 2 from accidental deaths, and 87 from undefined. And then you have just a whole list of people here that very well are just friends or family or programmers on the game. Hmm. Skimming over these names, none of them stand out too much. 
Except for Zena Reed there. Hmm. A lot of these names definitely don't feel like they are just the standard white people you would have expected to be in a uh, vault for the, the way everything looks. Margarita Pearson, for instance. Um, nor do they really feel like names that would have been common in the 1940s, but the bombs actually happened in 2075, so... There's weirdness there, certainly. Natural deaths. Listed. Accidental deaths. Listed. This is almost like a list of different ways you could have died from. But the only thing that really matters is that most of these are being labeled as undefined. So that was an important computer that you would have needed to hack into or find a key for. And I don't know where you would have found the key for it. Hmm. Let's see. Back to our local map. Helping the people of the wasteland is of the utmost reliance on them. Yep, this would have been a shorter trip had they not blocked this. We aren't exiting to one area, then entering back from a different door, which I thought maybe that was what was going to happen. But they are using these barricades way better than we've seen in any other case. Is there any possibility that somewhere else I was supposed to go? I don't think so. I think we're going to... Go through the test labs and exit out through some kind of secret door for the reactor chamber. And the map is just confusing the issue. Hmm. Here you can see somebody that's a little bit more yellowish in their clothing or their skin. And a spatula. And so it does seem like they are possibly, I think this... Uh, butter knife is floating in the air, by the way. Yes, it is. Um, possibly they were embracing cannibalism at some point. And that's very believable. And one assumes that the way you would have really experience this or most players would have experienced this is that these would have just been super mutants not super mutant masters or overlords i've played in a awkward way um where where's the centaur Yep. I basically need two gives. And trying to do lock picking. Hmm. Here you can see a failed FEV subject and radiation. And you can see he is in a uniform. Um, FEV reservoirs depleted. Hmm. So yeah, again radiation. 
So yeah, we know that either it was Voltex's intention to create super mutants, or the overseer went rogue and created super mutants. But there is definitely a question as to what are they doing? See, they, the story probably should have forced us to do this so we could have seen some of these failed FEV subjects somewhere else. But, yeah. I definitely question how are the super mutants making more super mutants? And is it just radiation? Can they just infinitely maintain this process? Do they have any ideas or reasons behind it? Or is it just built into their head? Or almost like a religious dogmatic action? Here we have the chief physician's terminal. Evolutionary Experiment Program is what EEP stands for. Modified FEV. The, we hope a breakthrough in this strain as the continual pressure from vault -Tec and military at Mariposa is becoming more bo most bothersome. So clearly, Voltec and the military were working together. We kind of already knew that. Hmm. Hmm. We've been looking at the super mutants this whole time, and none of them have really uh, looked like females. And this is saying, yes, that the super mutants are started as females and turned into an almost asexual state. And the males are also looking to look the same. Seems like it's shrinking their brain power to the point where it's not even maintaining things like breathing and just the unconscious things. Skin is thickening and becoming more resilient. Fear bouts of rage and anxiety. So it seems like they wanted to maintain mental stability. <laughs> and failed at that. It's kind of funny to even have a right away around here, but for gameplay reasons, definitely makes sense to have some right away. Hmm. Let's see. Which way are we supposed to be going? Okay. This can't be. Either you are quite real. And he's just not like, moving or anything back there. Actually be a pure human. Um <laughs> We've already seen one friendly mutant uh, already. 
So this really shouldn't be, uh, could possibly not be a surprise when it really should be a surprise. Uh, also, we should just be talking when we press the intercom, we should have taken a step to the left as an automated uh, image. So we could talk to this guy. He's just been programmed to stop moving. So. So, this might, would this be a reference to Guy Fox, as in the gunpowder plot in the UK, or V from Vendetta, maybe, although, let's use our intelligence. Yes. Indeed, it is the audio is even worse through the terminal. suppose I couldn't be surprised. It was only a matter of time before someone <laughs> like you showed up to the jacket. Let's see. I know what it is. I know <laughs> where it is. And best of all, I know how you can get your hands on it. Hmm. <laughs> because Again, it'd be very nice if this was voiced. I can't take it anymore. I can't even recall how long I've been here. Take me with you, and I'll retrieve the gap for you. Hmm. And it's probably radiated, so. The chamber in which the gap resides is absolutely flooded with radiation. It's unlikely to survive very long. Myself. On the other hand, hmm. have surprisingly inherited a useful trait from my fellow. See, it'd be interesting if there was a fallout set 10 or 20 years in the future and we see super mutants, a whole new generation of super mutants. Um, um, that were intelligent and just part of societies and no longer really an enemy. Uh, in the same way that there's feral ghouls and unferal ghouls. Um, you also have, like, really no reason not to trust this guy. He, he doesn't seem shady in the in one bit. He is, like, completely different from all the other super mutants that shoot first. So, if there was better writing, you'd almost have this guy... I, I would definitely consider having this guy seem like he's going to be your companion and your friend work for you pretend like he's going to get you to the gek and then all of a sudden he's going to turn around and he's going to be an overlord of the overlord and he's the intelligent guy that's been controlling all of the other super mutants uh, that would make a lot m more of an intriguing twist I'd have them have the character and the player build up their faith in a character only to be betrayed later. At the end of the hallway, to your right is a maintenance room. Inside, mm. you'll find the fire control console for the medical area. <laughs> uh, trip the alarm on it, and I'll be able to get out. Oh, a word of warning, though. Tripping mm. the console activates a failsafe and will open all the recovery rooms in the medical area. We have to just... What do you think? Can you do it? Hmm. Glad to see you! Like, Fox either had to be a very intelligent person before he was transformed, or... Hmm. Let's see, we can optional rescue Fox from here, and definitely you want to. Okay. It is my hope that we will speak again soon. Like we've never really been told in any way that the 
you couldn't talk through the glass. And it doesn't seem like there's a bunch of books back there. Hmm. Okay. It wants me to go this way. Let's look around. I could probably just lockpick the entire door open. Anyways. Yeah, my concern would be that I would fail to, like, survive if a bunch of super mutants spawned extra. Hmm. Yeah. It is fairly believable that if all of a sudden a bunch of extra super mutants spawned and there was super mutants all over the place, we just want to walk down this way and make sure that either this is a path to a radiation area, the radiation is going to be really high, or this is going to be door requires key okay good to know ooh yeah almost died there hmm Yep. We may just start running into this as an issue. We definitely may just start nearly dying over and over again. Let's hack this. Informed. Hmm. I don't know how form matches with informed and repeated. Hmm. Rad suits, radiation. It does seem like you could probably It does kind of seem like you could probably get some rad suits and run around if that's what you really wanted to do instead of not dealing with Vox. I don't know why you wouldn't want to deal with Fox though. Like he is the best companion in the game. Arguably the only companion you need in the game. And um I guess this was the storage room door. If you played the game more linearly, you almost certainly would have, would have had him with you for 
a lot longer. Advanced radiation suit and right, right away as an option. Again. Yeah, I guess we'll be vigilant with the lockpicks. Part of this, I think, definitely comes from the fact that this is an analog control stick. And this clearly, the lockpicking minigame feels more designed for use with a mouse and keyboard where you would have a lot more accuracy or just a different way in which the system worked. I wonder if what we're going to find out is that when we do the DLC, we're going to be in such a weird position that uh, the whole game is just going to feel very broken because we'll be fighting too high of a level of enemies for what's expected. I imagine not though. I imagine the DLC probably took into account that you would be at least level 22 which is the max level for the main game if not higher. On the verge of becoming over encumbered with just try laser beam guns. I guess this is just the center, center, central radiation room that they're showing you as a way of showing you what you're probably going to be set up for. Okay. Hmm. So that is the radiation chamber. You go through this whole circular path, and I assume by freeing Fox, he goes and gets the GAC for us. And... Um... We would have had to have kind of protected him. Hmm. This is a weird, like, spiral, spiralized path. So we've cleared the path for Fox. I wouldn't be surprised if Fox is actually stronger than even our paladin character companion. And that certainly does bring about another issue, is that once we, let's refill our health, once we get Fox, there is a decent chance that we will have to choose Why is this 79, but different? Go ahead and read these books while we're at it, too. Well, 
marker increased by two. So, yeah, I feel like this door opens and that's probably where we're going to have some more super mutants appear. So you can only do so much. Hmm. Oh, there is that danger, isn't there? Come to think of it, there is a very high danger that there is a bobblehead in the radiation chamber. Because wouldn't that be exactly what you would do? Yeah, that, that would be exactly what I would do. Hmm. Isolation room one, hard. And you don't even have to save on these because you can just, wow, 11, eliminating, probably overloading then. Hmm. Perpetrator. Infestation accessories. It, it sometimes looks like there really is only four options anyway, so it might very well be a case that there's like five options, so there's always a chance that you will mess up. Hmm. Unbelievers, which means it really can't be freeloaders. Ingredients, and then skip all of this. So it would have been subject B 164. Door unlocked. Let's not terminate specimens. Because it's a wastelander, anyways. The number on the space specimens was higher. And this is several wastelanders. So I assume that this is what they do. To make more. Hmm. Well, at least it's hell. So it's not going to be LY. Um, at the very least, this is how they make centaurs. B440 is way higher. And who knows how many arms and legs of different people were thrown in this radiation pit. Hiding is futile. To make a centaur. But the good news is this is all... Let's see. All of these would have been unlocked before. 541. Like, when we freed Fox, all of these would have been unlocked and it would have just been this gauntlet of fighting centaurs. But centaurs are not really a challenge anymore.
what you really would want is to free fox and kind of be forced to free fox so that he then tells you the whole deal with the rest of the super mutants. Hmm. All right. See here we have a human. And this guy seems like he might just run away. When I open the door. Maintenance. Gave us three. Hmm. So which three countermand? C three seventy six. Enemy contact. Where? Hmm. Sid. Named character. Don't have a mez gun. I seriously kind of doubt he was somebody I was supposed to mez and kidnap for Paradise Falls. He's got nothing on his name, on his items, though. No special item or anything like that, so. My only assumption is that he had been driven crazy for one reason or another. All right. So, over here, you have... This terminal. Possesses. Torturing. None of these words, these passwords seem like they have any real connection to anything in most cases. Hmm. So yeah, we could open any of those or seems like there was something else he said we could do fire consoles or you could have just activated that also So one terminal to hack versus a console that you can just activate versus several other terminals you can individually hack. And if you're trying to get to max level, you almost certainly would have to um, do all of this. And I honestly believe that there would be basically no hope at all. D624 indicates he's a much later character. Um, but yeah, if, if you two decide for 10, 15 hours to just run and gun it and not hack terminals and not lockpick, I, I don't think there's enough content in the game to... Right, so that one wouldn't unlock that one, which... which room is this anyways five hmm. let's just see if we can open five over here hmm Explosive bolts released, door should be unlocked. Finally. Freedom! True freedom! <laughs> now Fox does I scream. Thank you enough for this gift. You have no idea how long I pictured this moment in my mind. And it feels far better than I'd imagined. Now, 
for my part of the bargain. Follow me. Okay, we gained some karma. I'm gonna make a safety save. New spot. We're gonna run around here quickly and just make sure there wasn't bobble by Ed. Now we just have to watch as his butt swings back and forth. Hmm. I suppose Fox could be a female, or at least originally was a female. Seems like there are no genders amongst the super mutants. You can see the texture and the lighting on the shirt just going from correct to incredibly dark, but still somewhat correct to completely wrong. Still need a key. The original ending of this game, there was a possibility in which you could kill yourself, sacrifice yourself nobly, and that's only a small spoiler. So it would have been fairly easy to have the game then continue um, after that point with you playing as Fox. Fox as a character post-game would be interesting because then you could possibly see what is probably the unfinished um again i'll make a safety save here um what is probably an unfinished area in the upper parts of vault 87 you have to assume that the top part of vault 87 is is simply just very much irradiated because they're venting out radiation or trying to create more radiation although it's questionable how they're creating radiation that's not getting fully explained but we have to assume that the vault tech technology is pretty good again overwrite that safety save and let's just see how this stuff goes. 50, 70, ooh. Okay, you <laughs> stay here. Beyond this door, the hallways and the chambers are flooded with radiation. <laughs> now get the case and bring it right back. Keep your eyes open. And if <laughs> my lesser-minded brethren are bound to stumble across us. Um, so are we following? If we're following, we need to take, like, Radix or two. Like, this is gonna... Like we're gonna get irradiated very quickly here. And this is the Gek. Hmm. Activate the Gek or pick up the Gek. What happens if we activate the Gek? Hmm. The Gek will all collapse matter within the given radius and we combine it to form a living, bringing fertile virgin landscape and allow life to begin anew. Are you certain you want to do this? There are no achievements for this, but sure. Okay. So that's just kind of, I guess, a joke ending, as it were. There's no bobblehead or anything though here. 
like containment. We picked up the GEC. Radiation is increasing quickly. There's nothing else to do. So we didn't really need them. Hmm. And we'll just take some ran away and ran away and ran away. We'll break down. Like we got halfway there with a ra single ran X and four ran aways. So you don't really need them. Deciding to retrieve the device yourself <laughs> was foolish <laughs> when I was at your disposal, but uh, so be it. Well, <laughs> I'm afraid this is where you and I part company. I'll find my way out of this place. <laughs> Don't worry. Maybe we'll meet again <laughs> somewhere in the wasteland. Interesting. Yes? What is it? You can't come with me? Sorry. I'm afraid a super mutant wouldn't be welcome in the places you frequent. All I would do is cause you undue attention and you know, probably get you killed. No now other conversations. I suspect we may meet again. Yeah. So. Yeah, we will meet again, I guess, but. You don't get to keep him as a companion now, which it definitely feels like that would be something you would want to do. Um, getting the Gek seems to not have set off any alarm or anything. So, may just have to wander around. Like I'm not seeing any reason why new area. I think we just got pulse mined by the enclave. What's funny is I hear a dog or the heavy breathing. Good work, soldier. Make sure the geck is secured aboard my vertebrate. <laughs> yes, sir. I'll have the tech come down and remove it immediately, sir. You're certain she's unharmed? Yes, sir. She'll pass out shortly, but we can revive her. Excellent. Prepare her for transport immediately. Right away, sir. So we're getting Kidnapped and forced into a cutscene, and this is basically the first cutscene we've seen in a very, very long time. Maybe since the very beginning of the game. So, you're awake. Sanitizer no Let's longer active nice and for some reason. You're going to tell me the code for that purifier, and you're going to tell me now. This is Colonel Alt Hanum, and we don't know a code. And again, we are not being really told, and I don't think we will be really told, as far as why they want the GEC in the first place, other than to potentially control Project Purity. Um, I think at this point, if I'm going to make any recordings, I'm going to have to take bigger breaks. So it's been an hour and 30 minutes. I'm going to pause this recording, take an hour or two break, and then come back from this point. Obviously, we still think that the Enclave are the bad guys. Um, it is kind of sucky you couldn't just get a good game over joke ending by activating the Gek right at that point and then trying to bring back a Garden of Eden. Uh, but it definitely seems like if you activate the Gek anywhere amongst anybody you care about you're going to kill all organic life in that area and create some kind of oasis um, in exchange and that's a very big decision certainly to make anyways I'm going to take a break and I'll be right back
Okay, I'm back. I meant to take like an hour or two break and I fell asleep, so it's been more closer to four hours. I guess we now know why Fox didn't partner with us at that point, and really that really just highlights like a really bad um, writing concept. They painted themselves in the corner. It would have been way better if Fox had partnered with us at that point and we just had two companions then we get pulse attacked we hear fox getting driven back as he's trying to defend you and then he has to run and escape and yell some line uh, but, uh, as far as i'll i'll come back for you or i'll i promise to rescue you like you rescued me um which you almost expect that still to happen even now uh, every time we deal with the Enclave, they've decided to show them as evil from the beginning, which it really feels like there should have been at least some hints that maybe they would be good. It'd be really ridiculous at this point, after being kidnapped by them, to to see have them try and give us a hint. I have no idea what they're talking about, about the Gek having a password. Apparently it has a password, and... I don't know then how I activated it before. Maybe it went into a lockdown mode when it was removed from the pedestal. I guess that would make sense. <coughs> I was also thinking about like Vault 101. If Vault 101 really was about having pure, not irradiated DNA, then it almost would make more sense. And this is something they kind of did in Fallout 4. But it would kind of make more sense if Vault 101 had a, a procedure in which kids, babies were getting kidnapped from the wasteland and brought to Vault 101 or they were being bought. Um, certainly, if there was maybe even a connection to the kids of Little Lamplight as being not the original inhabitants of Vault 101 but brought in, brainwashed, taught that they were always from Vault 101, handed to adults, um, that that would have been a little bit more of a story to tell than just the overseer is, is a kind of crazy dictator, even if his reasons are mostly for self-preservation. Um, let's continue this story. Yeah, we don't know what the password is. Let's see. I'll tell you what's going on here. <laughs> you lost. The good guys won this one, and now we're just wrapping up loose ends. We've got the purifier. Now we just need the code to start it. You're going to give you me this very now and say southern so accent. Maybe I'll even let you go. So how about it? Which 220, uh, 220, 2,277 would be the timeline. So somebody still having this accent doesn't make sense if they're actually a human. Um, not really. Uh, and if it's, people still did have this accent, they would, uh, they would, we would have seen more people with this accent. Maybe it's more of a case that the Fallout people are implying that he's from a more southerly part of the United States or the former United States. And he's moved and that's why he's got the funny accent. Hmm. Hmm. So let's ask for information as is typical. Try to get as much information out of your interrogator as possible. You know why. We can't start the purifier without it. The longer the purifier isn't running, the more people suffer. Now I'm running out of patience, son. Hmm. I want that code, Interesting here, girl. I want it now. Hmm. Code is 216704. I have no idea what those numbers I think are just made up. Uh You lie. President, I have no time for other matters. I'll be with you shortly. Now, Colonel. Yes, sir. 
So, this new president tells you. And you have these weird blinking eye cameras. Barely listen to any of them. I'd like to have a word with you face to face. I think there are a few things that you and I should discuss. You'll find your possessions in the locker near the door. I'll unlock the way for you. And I... I'll unlock your restraints as well. I'll be waiting for you in my office. I guess we're in a glass tube. Or an electric glass an electric tube of some sort. Again, like technology we just never seen before, um, which there's some level to that that makes sense. Now we're starting the quest American Dream, and I guess that's why the sanitizer was deactivated. Of course, it's quite the annoyance to have to <laughs> equip things again. Hmm. This item apparently got dropped at some point or got broken at some point. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I found some more strange meat too. Hmm. Now there is a, a bobblehead in this area where you have to get it now in this whole sequence. So we want to be very careful on this. So much so that I think we'll very possibly just do another safety save here. Hold it right there. You're supposed to be in that holding cell. You're not going anywhere. This guy is glowing nice. of guards in the next room. As soon as I get them, you're going back to your cell in a body bag if necessary. Interesting. Let's go as a speech check. I'm not listening to anything you have to say, prisoner. Stand down at once. Hmm. Well, let's see. You seem to only get one choice, so hold it right there. You're supposed Instead of... to be in that holding cell. You're not going anywhere. Hmm. There's a full complement of guards. Just go to strength one. I, uh, I I have somewhere else to be. So we'll just do that. But that strength check actually doesn't give you experience. And do I really care one bit about keeping the enclave alive? Not really, but whatever. I also don't care enough. There's Nathan. Nathan, he's from Megaton City. One of the problems, certainly, around Megaton City and sparing it and not blowing it up is the fact that is the fact that that's like the one thing they reference hmm and it seems like we could just talk to this guy that seems like are we gonna intimidate somebody with power armor Hello. nope they seem to be fine with us just walking around and it definitely seems like there is quite the layout here quite the map we are here by the looks of it and we are going to be going into a bunch of different places. Yeah. 
they had already kind of talked about the vertebrate technology. So, hmm. Seems like there's lasers where you could maybe sneak in here and maybe this was an experiment with, um, with that. That this would have just been a whole stealth mission at some point. He's got a ghoul. And I hear a rad roach. Um. Hmm. These guys are seeing this rad roach, I think. Hmm. So yeah, I assume we're flying in a vertebrate. And that this technology is impressive from the outside. It seems not that impressive from the inside. Okay. So the rad roach hit the laser line and it just set off fire. And they couldn't kill it kidnap too many people because you kind of want your characters to still be around You'll never get here at this rate. Hmm. Hmm. these are rather big cells all right well The Enclave have been very rare to show, make an appearance. I, I half suspect we're going to hit a door here that just is going to, they're going to say no, you can't go any further in this direction. Hmm. Or he's just going to say you're going the wrong Kurt direction. Ford. Hmm. Okay, so let's load that save safety save. Hold it right there. Hmm. I suppose I could take a mintats uh, yeah. if I wanted to. Attention to all Raven Rock personnel. Hmm. This is your president. They're not who they say they are. Interesting. And he started shooting at me anyways. Maybe I walked too fast. We might as well use Mintats. We've never done it. Perception intelligence goes up. Do we have anything that increases our charisma? I don't think that we do. Hold it right there. Hmm. You're supposed to be as a full. Yeah, it's still speech 67%. Hmm. And it's not really worth it because it's not Hold like it this right is going to give you a speech check of more than. As a like 60 um 60 xp at least hold it right there <laughs> you're supposed to uh, yeah. okay so we're gonna walk fairly slowly here now i think his name is Mal Attention malcolm mcdowell mcdonald something this like that the voice actor of the president. So 
So it kind of feels like he could have just stayed in the cell. They're not who they say they are. Get out while you can before they get you too. Hmm. Now they should have hit her daughters. Now they should be fine with you. That's oddly scripted. Hello. Hmm. But I would say Bethesda has this habit of hiring um, mainstream actors to be voice actors in video games. Big name actors wasting the budget, frankly, doing that. And it, I wouldn't even call them like super well-known actors. They're, they're sci-fi, science fiction actors like the character... The actor who played Jean-Luc Picard was in, I believe, Oblivion. Um, but, yeah, that is something that I'm glad we're, we're starting to see less of, although we still occasionally see it in games, where instead of hiring video game voice actors who have at least a small chance of actually being good, at sounding like a character and not just sounding like a celebrity. Um, you also run into the problem of they made this main actor, this character specifically because they were, ooh, Enclave crates. Maybe we'll start seeing more of those around. Uh, they made him specifically like that, uh, like this character, hey. because he's not going to have that many lines of dialogue. If you're supposed to be meeting the president, then go do it. Get away from me. <clears throat> yep. They definitely are doing experiments. Hello. Is this Fox or just a super mutant? I think it's just a super mutant. Hmm. We're desperately searching make sure we've seen everything getting more energy bullets for energy weapons it would also Hello. be appreciated okay so that's where we're going and unless this was a case that you're on a timer and the other guy is going to counterman the president, although that doesn't really make any sense in any structural way that somebody could counterman the person in charge's orders in a military design. Um, I think you're safe. What probably triggered the counterman was me moving too far away from the president and crossing a line. Attention, this is Colonel Autumn. You are here by our order to ignore the president's previous directive. The prisoner from Vault 101 is to be shot on sight. I repeat, shot on sight. This is an order. Interesting. Well, it basically then lines up that we should just go kill everybody. Hmm. Who's attacking me with what? Hmm. All right. He's got like a ripper blade. Hmm. All right. You're getting about 15 XP, and we can 
immediately recognize that we're going to be over encumbered. So we're going to have to make some decisions there. I think fairly quickly. There's just a lot of opportunity for batteries here that I think it would be kind of a mistake to not just kill everybody and everything. <clears throat> okay. Combat knife repaired. Try beam rifle repaired. Enclave power armor, Tesla armor. Hmm. I think we may have to decide, make some decisions here. As far as this one, drop this, drop this. It's not even like this is like the worst place possible to be over encumbered to. Like we don't have our companion who we could throw a bunch of items on and I wouldn't be surprised if the companion was holding a bunch of items and they now are now sitting here All right well let's get rid of low damage things Right, that'll free up some weight. And they're just experimenting and investigating everything. Level three. Yeah. Unless I've just gone the wrong direction again. These crates kind of look like the other things we've seen. The other boxes we've seen, so I think we already searched these. And can you just jump down? You can walk down too, so. These red visuals versus blue visuals. Probably don't need to exist. Hmm. Just looking all around, making sure we get everything. I have no idea what this is even supposed to be. This looks like some computer component. And yeah. The president's chamber. We see an exit labeled 1C. But I don't see anything that's actually labeled President's Chamber. So. I don't even know where I was supposed to go. Plasma rifle. I'm going to take a plasma rifle. Hmm. These scientists are pretty much just running away. 
and we want scrap metal still until we no longer really need that which honestly by this point we may very well there they have a death claw down there that that you may give us enough experience just finishing the main story to to get us to max level and we're back to blue and here's an alien first we've seen of an alien or a ghoul I guess that's a ghoul with a blue tint over it although the it is only a slight spoiler for DLC to say there are aliens that show up since we've already seen alien ammo We're not seeing a lot of computer terminals. It seems like they just don't use that old technology. We are seeing a lot of these that are either holding up the ceiling or activating, acting as something else. I guess we are supposed to go that direction. So let's go the wrong direction. Hmm. feel like we were just here. I guess we were just here. We have a whole trunk full of things. Is this stuff I'd put down there? It feels like it almost has to be. That's too much variety. Right. And I think this probably brings us back here. Yep. Hmm. So this is going to let me refill my electrical weapons or get electrical weapons for the first time if I had played this game differently. Um, And it's going to let me grind for experience. Hmm. You have some fairly nice looking ovens that still probably only have a small amount of content in it in, as far as varieties of items do I want to take recon armor hmm I feel like at this point since we're so close to the end of the gameplay anyways uh, or the end of the game there should be some kind of perk that just straight up lets you repair things. A whole bunch of forks. Although they're called forks, but they. I guess it's a very pointy fork that happens to look a lot like a knife to me. This is, I guess, funny visual storytelling, but useless level design. There's no way to sneak around to a new area like this. It's kind of useless. Um, useless even architectural design. Like You could only assume that under the stairs would normally be a whole bunch of like food rations, supplies, things like that. But the fact that it's empty definitely implies that they're running out of resources. take the Tesla armor and then we'll repair the Tesla armor hmm. 
Hmm. So Rad Roach is dead. Hmm. You'd pretty much have to accidentally run into the fire to be hurt by it. Alright, well, might as well try and open all the cells and open all the doors. See, the president seems to still not really care that I'm killing everybody. Is there anything we can target here? That would free him. Like you, you see, like no connecting wires or anything. He's gone. Interesting. So Nathan just magically teleported himself. Hey there. Hmm. Bye. Hmm. Let's make a safety save and then shoot this guy for 5 XP and we'll take his uniform. Hmm. Nathan is here. So Nathan's trying to escape at the same time. Sounds like there's another rad roach somewhere. Although it's not. Hmm. One is pretty much assuming that the soldiers. Uh, the scientists are not carrying anything other than like radiation suits. Like I, I really expect them to maybe have mintats on them in radiation suits. So it would be a little pointless to kill them. I'm going to end up with like one perfect condition Tesla item and that's going to be it. Tesla armor. And we have been everywhere on the map now. There is somebody somewhere, but I couldn't even tell you where they are. Next location. Let's go straight. Straight this way. And then a little to the right. Fall back to regroup. Retreating. Hmm. Resume standard patrol. Got nothing here. Fall back. And I, I definitely do suspect that there's pos very possibly nothing in any of these areas. Even though I'm being very careful. Make sure I check. And it will just be a very obvious separate office area that has the bobblehead in it. This definitely is an experiment of a very big 
area, big and differently li lined up dungeon compared to anything else we've seen. Here's more of these crates, which I kind of assume at this point are enclave crates. And maybe now we'll have some ability to open the crates in the overworld. Hmm. Just a whole lot of nothing in all of those lockers. But there's still enough of a danger or enough of a chance that you'll find batteries that it's worth searching. Hmm. And you've got these big metal containers that I guess are for death claws. So it seems like they're bringing in death claws. It's interesting there's a little ramp here, but there's nothing here. Seems like they've, they just put it there for no reason. You would have half expected there to be a death claw in that that area. Okay. Is it necessary to kill the scientists? What are you doing here? Hmm. So, Anna Holt, was she a spy for the Enclave? Interesting. One of the lady researchers. They, they captured me, brought me here from Project Purity. I didn't hmm. want to help them at first, but the technology they have here, it's so far advanced from anything I've worked with. You've been helping them, question mark? They wanted information about Dr. Lee, about Project Purity. They want to know how to start it up and why it wouldn't work. I told them everything I could about the Gek, about the damage caused by the explosions, all of it. Let's see. Do we go with the betrayal aspect? I'm sorry you see it that way. What are you going to do? Hmm. Kill me over it? You should go. Hmm. It sounds like you're in enough trouble as it is. And honestly, I don't want anyone to see me talking to you. Hmm. Safety save. If there is one scientist that should be killed, Hmm. Interesting, I can't search her. Though. And I only got like 5 XP for that, so. At a certain level, keeping scientists alive, no matter what, is probably the better move. Uh, so we'll just not kill her. But they certainly aren't treating this like there's some possible way the player might actually side with the enclave and say um say oh well this may be actually for the greater good and we should consider that um it is far too simplistic minded oh interesting Invisible wall barriers. Hmm. Yeah, I still don't think I need recon armor. Alright. Yeah, in a lot of ways, the Brotherhood of Steel idea. of preserving technology 
is somewhat valid where the enclave idea of preserving order is also kind of um kind of a valid concept it's just that it's really hard to be the good guy and try and preserve order particularly in obviously i couldn't have lock picked that barrier Enclave power armor. I don't think we need that. Hmm. Retreating. Yeah. You would... Would have wanted to see this written a little bit better. And have... Instead of having good or bad options as far as blowing up... Megaton, which is a pretty simplistic option. Well, I guess that does show you can hurt yourself. So either you'd have to run here, which is then not going to be particularly stealthy to get under the walkway, or you would have to basically be fireproof. I don't think you can have that high of a fire resistance. Hmm. Not sure how much more of this map there really is. Feels like there could be a whole nother section. Yeah. We are here. And we're going here. And then you go on this linear path this way. So it is basically one long path with the exception of it being a split path that merges back into a regular path. You'd think the pit boy could just take a picture of that or download that. And it kind of does feel like if I killed everybody in this facility, the enclave itself may be completely eliminated or reduced to incredibly small numbers Let's see. a regular locked foot locker and I want to be very careful here Buff outs, mint outs, the ZAX destruct sequence, and 10 millimeters. Let's read this note. I'm not entirely sure Eden <laughs> can be trusted. And I think he knows I don't trust him. But I don't <laughs> think he knows I have the emergency destruct sequence for his console. Priority <laughs> override. Authorization code 420-03-209. <laughs> and boom. It'd have to be a last hmm. resort, of course, but at least the option is there. So, whoever this Zax is, no spoilers, can be blown up as a, as a computer. You have these nice lineouts of useless items. Here is the bobblehead for energy weapons, which I think energy weapons were already at 100%. So, yeah. And very possibly we already have the bobblehead for melee weapons and sneak and unarmed. Doesn't matter. In the next couple of level ups, we'll get everything to 100 regardless. And we're just kind of collecting the bobbleheads for fun. 
footsteps, clockwork. Hmm. Ferocious. Hmm. Try that again. Agreement. Retreated. Disable the barrier. Take ammunition. A lot of these ammunitions are totally stuff you would just never, ever use. This menu is so bad. Remember Fallout 3 is a game that came out before the back button was added to controllers? There was really just a pause. There, there's always been like a start and select for NES games, but the idea of changing select to a pause button and actually using it is something that frankly took a lot longer than you would think. And I feel like this is a map of either vaults or locations where the Enclave wanted to control. Like this definitely could be Raven Rock if we look at the world map, which is where we are. But if these are other Enclave positions, they're positions that either had one Enclave person in it that I killed or and then liberated in that way or their places that they're going to take over in the future which that would also make some sense can't crouch down here we already got the bobblehead so that's really the only important thing um, I think in this whole thing Notice we've got the robots shooting the humans. Hmm. Subtitles are not really playing. Hmm. So the robots are on my side, and I don't have any desire to really fight sentry bots because they are bullet sponges anyways. Map-wise, here we go. And to the control room we go. And up we go on this twisted staircase, which... We don't see these kinds of staircases in any other place. There, it's not particularly very, very good video game design, anyways, because it's going to be long. This would only make slight sense if they really wanted you to see that there's a whole bunch of computer stuff. But even by modern standards, this doesn't even really look like computer technology. It, it more looks like decoration. It doesn't look like the technology that we've seen up until this point in the game um, there definitely is a lot of room for more detail somebody spent too much time designing this when you could have simply just walked up to a computer hmm. they're putting you very high as if you're, they're setting you up for fall damage. Then you have a plant. Then you would just, I assume, try to leave, but see, it requires a key. Ah, face to face. So this is President Eden. Just a computer program. So there was um, um, 
there was no way you were going to not fight your way through this. Hmm. Let's start with the first one and just pretend like we're ignorant because in all honesty, this is the first computer that sounds e like a human that that our character would have seen. Ah, but I have. I'm hmm. right here before you. Science your computer. I guess I should have guessed as much. Might as well do that. Are they open-minded of you? Kudos for embracing the reality of the situation hmm. rather than railing against it. Let's get to brass tack, shall we? Hmm. There are some things I'd like to talk to you about. Let's see. What can I do for you? Maybe that's a little too friendly, but whatever. You and I have a chance to make our country a better place for all of us. <coughs> I'd like you to make sure that chance isn't wasted. Understand, hmm. I am placing a great deal of trust in you. Now, a computer running a government actually sounds like a kind of great idea, assuming it's programmed well and its programming is secure and inspected constantly uh, compared to a human where you never know what's really in the heart or mind of a human being the president of the United States and then being potentially corrupt or at any point having a uh, having a change of heart, having a stroke, having some insanity split upon them. All those things have their equivalents in computer programs. Uh, the problem, of course, is the rugged individuality that is known in the United States and even now in the wastelands would never allow for people to follow a uh, computer program and certainly not in secret. Let's see. Let's just go in the middle here. This almost feels like this would have been the end of the game. It's best if I explain why things need to change and why I'd like you to act on And again, this is something that would have been better, per, particularly for the voice actor, for him to just say, um, say what is, uh, say a whole bunch of lines of dialogue and just monologue for a while instead of having me interrupt with these non-voiced questions. Our land is ravaged by mutation. The war was so many So we must rid ourselves of the mutations that have plagued us for so long. These super mutants, ghouls, hideous creatures. I believe your father's hmm. work can do that in a way unlike any other. So it's the the Project Purity they think will kill the super mutants, the ghouls. Um, now we've only seen two intelligent super mutants, so killing all the super mutants is not a big deal. And as far as the ghouls that we've run into, uh, there's a couple of good ones, but there's a lot of rabid ghouls and uh, and bad ghouls too. Purify your father helped create has the ability to provide clean water to the whole of this capital wasteland with a simple modification. It can be used to distribute agents that destroy mutated creatures upon ingestion. So he wants to change it. We could eliminate all mutations in the wasteland. At the same time, the good people of the world regain their health. I need you to make the modification necessary for this to succeed. Hmm. So, yeah, you could almost see siding with that idea. Uh, but I almost would suspect the computer program of actually making a modification to kill humans or make them dependent or addicted to the water. I, I don't think the program is solely doing this out of the goodness of its mechanical heart. If it was doing that, then clearly President Eden 
wouldn't have allowed so many bad people to be the colonels and the the uh, enforcers of the enclave. Like corruption almost always is at least allowed from the top. Um, In front of you will be a vial of modified FEV virus. It can be inserted into the control console for the purifier. Doing so will inject it into the water supply, and the purifier will take care of the rest. You just need the code to activate the purifier. Simple. Hmm. So we could take the vial of the modified thing. Hmm. Let's see. I understand. It's an unusual request. One I wouldn't make if it weren't of the utmost importance. Please understand that I cannot allow you to leave until you've taken the vial. All right. So the other options are we could ask more questions um, or we could just speech 90% or we could science you can't be the president you're an abortion of science you need to die. Suddenly I think it's a very good hmm. plan. I'm not often one to praise my own ideas, but it's a creative solution to a very serious problem. Won't just pretty much kill everyone in the wasteland. Anyone or anything that has been affected by mutation will be eliminated. Hmm. You will likely be immune thanks to your upbringing. In the so world. it's going to kill the humans Likewise, too. The good people of the enclave will be unaffected as well. I understand. Hmm. That you may have become sympathetic to certain individuals in your travels. Individuals this will eliminate. Please recognize that the fate of our entire country rests on this plan. Sacrifices must be made for the greater good. A great many years ago, the remnants of the government had a similar idea. I can only assume the plan failed, as I never heard word of its success. But the plan itself was sound. I made a few modifications, <laughs> and with your help, I do believe it can work. As so this is effectively going to be friend. an ethnic cleansing. Ah, the forced evolutionary virus. Such a it's going to kill everybody in the wasteland because they've all been the mutated. In this vial is a far cry from what it was originally created to be. Yet, little of that matters now. What does matter? is that the virus contained in that vial will cause the eradication of all mutations. Is there anything else? Let's see. Tell me more about yourself. I'm flattered that you wish to learn more about me. What is it you wish to know? The Zack series of computers was introduced in the years preceding the war. The government hmm. installed many of them to help automate various systems. This facility was designed for continuity of government in the event that a catastrophe occurred. My terminal was installed to oversee the basic functions of the facility and to act as a relay between other installations around the country. Data was acquired, analyzed, and stored. In the decades following the war, I watched as the remnants of the government retreated to the West Coast. Awareness slowly grew within me. Became hungry for knowledge. So he became sentient over time. Over data on great leaders of the past. My personality became an amalgam of many of America's greatest presidents, from Washington to Richardson. I became hmm. what you see here before you now. I have no who Rich, no idea who Richardson is. Hmm. I have direct control over all technology. Hmm. Humans here follow my orders, but they, like all humans, have free will. Their dedication to serving their country suits me well, but it will not be enough forever. We must make progress. That is why you are here. And 
the th the problem here is there was this whole throwaway quest a hundred hours ago at the beginning of the game with the uh, android person and you almost certainly would have thought that the android body would be a goal that President Eden would want to have is to download his consciousness into a body that could move around and act on its own. I desire nothing more than to see this country return to its former glory. The United States was great once, and it can be again. Hmm. There are plans in motion to see this happen within your lifetime. Yep. So, we'll just ask this question. That's quite a bold line of questioning. Hmm. I'm afraid such a thing is beyond your capability. Hmm. I'm quite impervious to any damage you might do. Part of the I problem I have survived the last two <laughs> why the wasteland would be like this is obviously the nostalgia for the old United States. Whereas these wastelands would have almost certainly worked better had they just established um, small states yeah, or small tribes and just admitted that that's going to be the way things are going to be for a few hundred years instead of trying to rebuild a republic or a great empire, whatever you want to call the former United States. Um, because it, it's just being disappointed with the small victories is going to constantly demoralize people and hin hinder progress. Ah, yes, Colonel mm. Autumn, my trusted subordinate. I'm sure you've noticed that Colonel mm. Autumn and I do not see eye to eye these days, figuratively speaking. And see, I can't do a safety save here. I disagree on how best to approach the problem of the wasteland. He feels my methods are too extreme. He's allowed his humanity to cloud his objectivity. And now that he is publicly countermanding my orders, I can no longer rely on him. And so I turn hmm. to you. I hope that you are able to see the larger picture, to understand what's at stake. And of course, if you're successful, there's a place for you on the Enclave. Perhaps you could succeed the Colonel as my confidant. Okay. And see, the only thing I think I could do here is potentially grab the FEV virus, but... Let's see. I'm afraid that's not possible. Not until you've taken the vial. All right. So I can take this vial. Let's do a safety save here. Alright, now let's talk to the guy. You have the vial and the task hmm. set before you. Shouldn't you be on your way now? And we'll do the speech check. And why would I do that? When I'm hmm. clearly the best hope for people. That only gave me twenty XP. You can't just decide to take over and force everyone. You can't even control your own tubes. You're clearly not fit for this. Both is true. Let's go with this one. Perhaps. Perhaps you're right. Hmm. But does that really mean all this progress should be wasted? Destroyed? If you don't stop it now, well, then it's up to you to do what's right. Yes, I suppose it is. You shall have your wish. Mm. Once you've left, I'll put an end to the Enclave. I cannot stop Colonel Autumn, mm. however. That much will be up to you. I suppose, then, that this is goodbye. You'll have to see yourself out. I have preparations to... Here we have an awkward angle. And you can't take this plant. Alright, so we just convinced him with a speech check to blow up the place and this is the only time we're going to be here and in the enclave so we hope the other person is freed Let's see. Let's 
go ahead and grab batteries. Which way do we go? Looks like this door is broken. Maybe got shot by the laser turrets, which they were trying to break in that whole time. And you kind of should have heard that. Here we can see a vertebrate, and I guess that's probably the colonel escaping, or some other people escaping. Let's see. Okay, let's do this right. There's a death call. And that gave us 40 experience. Skeptical countries, Americans, 40 XP for that. Hmm. Ten like we read this. Hmm. Take that bobby pin. You gonna fight me or are you gonna go fight them? I guess the death claw doesn't want nothing to do with me. So, I suppose we are friends with the Death Claws in this case. It's almost like an experiment in. Nope, Death Claw decided he was not my friend. These guys are still on our side, though. Tesla armor, Tesla armor, that. And that. And that. One full set of Tesla armor is all we can really afford. This whole dungeon layout area not particularly interesting visually it's very repetitive which makes a lot of sense because you just aren't gonna spend a lot of time here and so this is supposed to be I think an escape sequence this door would have been locked and is very hard and it seems like they're Maybe implying that I should sneak down under here, but there actually is only some containers down here. We are getting maybe some more bobby pins, so that is something. Is my Tesla armor at this point at the maximum though? I don't know. It could be at like 99% fixed. We just wouldn't really know. All these doors that are labeled very hard should should not be labeled that. I don't think. Mm. Meanwhile, in the middle of this whole escape sequence, you see more inconsistency. Um, with these barriers and terminals and lockpicks and 
things to collect when really this should be the the game should have pretty much just said there there's nothing to collect run now you only have a few minutes like even if it's not true they they should encourage the player to experience this the way I don't think I can carry that with me yeah you really should experience this game the way they are expecting you to experience it I'm just gonna I have to put two tri-beam lasers away Hmm. Or something like that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just increasingly. Hmm. Not getting opportunities to fight anything. Seems like the Enclave finally have enough power to take out some of these sentries. Hmm. Which means I'm probably going to get some scrapped metal that's going to probably push me over being over encumbered again. We're almost to the exit, but yeah, that definitely feels like that should have been more of a fight and way more of a rush. We'll leave the missile launcher and we'll leave the minigun. I guess what we'll do is we'll take the Tesla armor in this and we'll see if the repair is there. If we don't need to repair anything, then we'll drop it. Like that. And I can only assume that we're going to walk out of here. And get vertebrated out. What just blew up? Facility. Found you at last. I knew you had survived, and I had hoped to assist in your rescue to repay my debt. To so here we have Fox. <clears throat> Looks like you got a new toy, huh? Yes, and the most fascinating one at that. <clears throat> Whoa, this technology is amazing. <clears throat> Imagine the evil that can be eliminated with such tools. Hmm. Let's see. I saw your capture, and a little cleverness allowed me to follow your captors. Ugh, I only wish I could have arrived sooner to aid your escape. As I owe you my freedom, I felt it was only fair that I return the See, favor. they really need to smack you in the face no with Fox being a likable character. Um, because otherwise you may very well at this point not have any reason to not want to kill all the mutants and not realize that when he said kill all the mutants, he included all the humans. My friend, I would be honored to follow a hero such as yourself. Shall we go? All right. And I have no idea what is blowing up particularly, whether that's the people. Now, what irritates me about this is 
I tried really, really hard to get to Raven Rock, and it seemed like we were always just too high up to reach it. It didn't. I didn't reach a gate that was locked, which would have been the more reasonable outcome of trying to reach that area. We should also just keep an eye on our health. Like we we have been taking enough damage. Certainly. I have no idea what he's even shooting at. Giant Rad Scorpion chasing a Wastelander. Well, the Wastelander didn't make it. That's a shame. Should have fired faster. But I, I don't even think you get karma for doing something like that. And we've got another Wastelander. Purified water? Sure, we'll take all the purified water. Why not? If we're going to take purified water, though, we should consider what to leave. I think we'll give them dirty water instead. yourself to the water you earned it interesting so he just lets us go through there have been a couple of places definitely where we have where we have run into gates I guess maybe there is just there always was just this path here and I just didn't find it it curves around yeah. enough Twelve XP for shooting giant rad scorpions. Hmm. Yeah, we unless we find a drop off that you couldn't climb back up. There was a path. I just didn't find it. We've definitely been to the SATCOM array. Not that the SATCOM array does anything or means anything. Did that sentry bot just land here? I think probably not. I think what probably happened here is it just shot the missile at me. Hmm. And we now use the tri beam laser and do more damage. I think we're good enough for that. Hmm. Here we have an enclave officer. Interesting. Enclave soldier, enclave hellfire trooper. Why are they firing over here? Hmm. 
So we may just be seeing... Hmm. A case where... The Enclave are now just going to play a bigger role. Or... We may be seeing a case... Where some of these locations are going to actually be taken over by the Enclave. Which would kind of make some sense. It doesn't really make a lot of sense for these areas to be taken over again when frankly they should have just been enclave areas in the first place. Even if we had reached these areas earlier because now it just doesn't We've got a whole bunch of wastelanders killing enclave si scientists. Hmm. And maybe there is going to be some quest to break the enclave's hold. Maybe we'll need to come back and fight these guys definitely feels like I, I had already Hello. just yes hey there good to see you. yeah hey, it feels hey. like I had already cleared out this whole area I'll take one of those good to see you. once again over encumbered let's look at the eight items let's see if we can drop couple things stealth boys would be fine Good to see you. have a very Good to see you. perfect condition poster there Good to see you. and yeah we really don't need bottle caps fox can't even negotiate himself a lot of these wastelanders are ghouls. And up here. I don't think there's anything particularly special. Like unless unless the idea was to shoot these guys. Which I can't shoot them. I don't know how long I've been going because I took that really long break. So let's look at what the quest is. Report to Elder Lions uh, at the Citadel. Go back to the Citadel. I don't think we'll do that. Instead what I think we'll do is fast travel to Megaton and drop our items all of a sudden Fox does not seem to really care about scaring people which was his concern as far as being our companion Fox I believe holds more than our other character does but we clearly Still have like four bobbleheads to get. Um, 
so. Burn Master is one to consider. And then... Some of this power armor I don't think is worth holding on to. Hold on to a second scoped. And we'll just sell a scoped. Hmm. Take this Talon Combat Armor. Tesla Armor, we already had one. Tesla Helmet, we already have two. So, as far as advanced radiation suit, enclave outfits, we'll sell the rest of that. Now, we're pretty over encumbered. Open the refrigerator and anything that has any weight. We'll give away. We'll hold on to Nuka Colas. Get rid of this. Well, Paradise Lost played no role. Refined Waters. Put those away. Scotch. Strange Meat we'll put away. That saved us a considerable amount of weight, also. Over here, the miscellaneous stuff. Well, how many cherry bombs do we need? Maybe five. The wait list, anyways. I had picked up obviously a lot of extra garbage, and I, I guess I have to just assume that there is not really any value in holding on to a lot of this stuff. As far as ammo goes, yeah, we are in a pretty good spot. We still just kind of have problems with the actual weapons. I just had an interesting thought about companions and what they do, what do they do when you are um, when, when you're sleeping. Let's see. Power armor, heal that, heal that. Hmm. Heal that. Yeah. This fox here. Troubling you, my friend. Hmm. Yes. By all means. Let's. Yeah, let's trade equipment. Yes, let's see what we means. can give him. Let's. If we give him the burn master and then we give him like tesla armor and tesla helmet can he really hold on to all of that hmm. and i shall follow no it doesn't seem like he can
I'm gonna hold on to the power stuff. Something troubling. Hmm. Yes, by all means, let's. And I shall hmm. follow. He doesn't have a lot of dialogue or variety in his dialogue. Hmm. Okay, we want to sleep in the bed just for an hour to get the well rested. Perk. Are we going to get a free reward from people? Maybe not. We'll want to talk. Um, honestly, it's probably not even really worth it to try and get the items that we had handed our companion to carry. Like, we could talk to her and see if maybe we can get the items that way, but I wouldn't be surprised if she just doesn't really show up. Hmm. Speaking of not showing up, it seems... Guy, it's not there. Let's see. I sure take all my scrap metal. All right. Let me Another eighty-three that. experience. Well, back to work. Probably, if we went and finished this quest, we would be given even more experience. We have Maggie, but the guy that was kidnapped, I don't know if he escaped or not. Oh, hey, kind of busy here, hmm. but I... All right, can you repair my equipment? If we repair that, that, and that, with a repair skill of 24, it's not terrible. Absolute. We're at almost 40,000. Gatling laser doing 104 with a decent amount. Heavy incinerator doing um, 83. We definitely should hold on to that. Plasma rifle compared to a tri beam rifle does look like it might be better. So we should try and move for that. We already have a scope, so we'll sell that one. far as Tesla armor and helmets will sell that and then is there anything we would potentially want to sell is she offering anything of interest buy back yeah I have like a full plasma rifle here that only does 47 that's weird well then let's sell that if that's as high as plasma rifles go she has a whole bunch of weapons that I've sold in the past to her then she's got a whole bunch of apparel there we go and one pencil under miscellaneous let's sell 19 of these and then 10 of these that that two of those I'm willing to have like a hundred rad X and rad aways but a lot of these other drugs there's no reason to even have more than 20 Although we did find the buff out trade. Good hunting. See ya. Hmm. 
Hmm. So, where does that put us as far as weapons and setup? I'm going to waste a little bit of weight by holding on to the Gatling laser and the heavy accelerator. Um, I could probably get rid of Sydney's SMG at this point. Yeah. And a whole bunch of other stuff we have is extra stuff. So all of us here thank you for everything. We do get a free thing. Certainly. Um The, the only thing uh, I'm expecting we're not really going to have that much more game. Like, I think the main story quest is going to try and wrap itself up fairly quickly. He's clipping through the lore over here. And we'll, after the main game, probably have to grab these four remaining bobbleheads. I don't think outside of Rock, Rock Raven and the Vault 101 Science bobblehead there are any that you can't just go back and visit again. The I assume the Gek is probably attached and guarded by the Enclave. Um, I wouldn't be surprised now that we've seen barriers if we see that there is a whole bunch of um, barriers protecting the Jefferson area, this whole area. I, I, I vaguely recall there was a laser wall protecting this at some point. And so we have to go back to the Citadel, talk to other lions, and then we'll continue to just move the main story forward. Um, after that, you have basically four pieces of DLC. And we might just want to do those all in a row, but uh, yeah, you might as well just do it that way. That's how I imagine most people would do it. Never did figure out what this distress beacon was all about. Stats wise, we're at level 27, just about to go to level uh, 28 uh, with about a thousand, no. 10,000 XP. No? Yeah, it is 1,000 XP. And when we level up, I assume we probably should just consider putting everything in. Well, we probably won't even have to consider anything, actually. Um, 10 points, 18 points here, 10 points here, and eight points there that might be everything at 100 and we've only slightly suffered by having our agility so low and our charisma so low and our we have not suffered at all for the perception being so low um, or as big as the screen could be it's kind of fun that Funny that I have only three effects that are really affecting me, and it seems like I've only ever had three effects that have affected me. I personally have mutations, by the way. Um, some of these skills are, are directly mentioned as mutations, so if I were to follow President Eden's plan, it almost certainly would have killed us. It is shocking that we have only done 28 quests and only discovered 166 places or even more shocking we barely killed less than 600 people uh, it definitely feels like we've done a lot more of that certainly 
we still have a reason to pock pick a pocket and explode somebody at least once, do a Sandman kill. Uh, I don't think we'll get the skill to disable robots, um, although that is something to consider. I don't think there there is just not enough level ups left to do contracts completed or corpses eaten also. So you would have had to really plan things out, I think, if you wanted to do each of the number of things that are mentioned there let's go ahead and save and yes that's going to be it for this recording as always i ask you to like share subscribe comment and watch every second of my videos if you want a friend to follow me on any social media sites there's a whole bunch of links down below thank you for watching have a good evening